All right, so now that we have a few apps generated, the next step is going to be to generate a dashboard, which will allow us to monitor our data. So to do that, you can, you can either go to a map um, and create the dashboard there, or you can do it under Create. So I'm just going to do it here under Create. So under Create, there's an option for dashboards, and then you can create a new dashboard. So I'm going to call this Wildlife Sighting Dashboard. And again, you can provide tags, so like West Virginia AGP, Mon Forest, and we'll just call this, or example, data dashboard. And that'll get saved to my Mon Forest folder. Okay, and then that'll initiate the dashboard so we can start to uh, edit it. So uh, first off, I need to add some content. So I'm going to go to uh, Map first, and I can add a map. By default, it's, gonna, it's grabbing all the maps um, that I have in my ArcGIS content, but you should be able to access maps that are shared with you, such as maps from your organization. So I'm going to select that map, and pop-ups are on. Let's do Extent and book. Well, I don't need that. Let's do. Let's add a legend. Layer visibility. Base map switcher. Zoom in. Zoom out. And hit done. And that adds that map object to our dashboard. And here are some of the tools that I had turned on. All right. Um. Next thing I'm going to do is change some settings. So you can change the colors and whatnot that are used on the page. I'm just going to switch it to dark. So we get like a dark mode. So that makes a dark mode. All right, and then we're going to start adding some things. So first I'm going to add um, a pie chart relative to our wildlife sightings, and I'm going to symbolize using the type. So currently we have one, of, one sample of three types, so a third each, and hit done. And that adds the pie chart. Uh, now we're going to add in, let's do a gauge. So this will just count the number of selected features. So again, I'm just grabbing my uh, wildlife sightings. And I really don't think we need to change much in here, but you can go in here and mess around with the settings. So we'll hit done there. And then let's add in, let's see what else. How about a map legend? That looks fine, so done. And then we'll add in a layer list. There it is. Okay, so that's all of our content. So now we'd like to organize it a bit better on the page. So uh, let's see here. Let's move. Now this is tricky. I've always, I've never had a lot of luck with this. It always seems to not want to play nice. Um, okay, that seems to be working. So we have that. I guess I didn't add the layer list. That's okay. I'm just gonna, do I have anything else I could add? I don't think we really need anything else. I'm going to see if I can swap these real quick. Um, so I'm gonna put this over here and then move this up to here. So I have the legend next to the map. I think that looks all right. Let's zoom out a bit there. Okay, so that's a very simple dashboard where we can just monitor our data collection. So I'm going to save that, and then let's test it and see if it's working. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my content. I'm going to go into my basic viewer app and launch it. And then I'm going to try to add a point. So we're going to grab this editing tool, and uh, we'll add a small mammal point. So let's zoom in here, maybe to this southern part of Canaan Valley here. We'll put a point in. Again, small mammal, pick a date, pick a time, add a comment. I don't know, what did we see? We can say we saw uh, uh, what would be a good small mammal. We'll do a, man, I'm blanking on good small mammals. Uh, saw a fisher. How about that? 
I think that's how you spell that. I'm not sure. And again, I could upload a picture, but I don't really have one. All right, so now I uploaded a point. So now if I go back to my dashboard, we should see that it updated with that new point in there. So now I have four, and then they changed the pie chart there, and it's updated there on the map. Okay, so that's adding a dashboard, and again, that's mainly for uh, viewing data and monitoring data collection.